Are you really sore? Yeah. Feels like I've been run over. But I feel amazing. Right, the nurse says it's all good. We just need to wait for your medication from the pharmacy. <sighs> I can't wait to get out of here. Mm -hmm. Well, as long as they're sure you're going to be all right. Well, he's better off at yours than in here. Less chance of picking up a bug. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Hi, I'll just go through your meds with you, Matty. OK, and anything else you might like to ask me? Yeah, well, we'll give you a minute. <sighs> I just want to get him home. And what about your other son? You know the one who's 27 today? It's Adam's birthday. Had you forgotten? Oh, I'm going to make you some tomato soup out the tin. You used to love them, remember? <laughs> nice one, Mum. Now, do you want water with your pills or do you want juice? Mum, it's all right, I can do it myself. Although, I could get used to this. <laughs> right, I'm just going to have a bit of a sit down. Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow, all right? Thanks, Vic. See ya. Adam's birthday. I didn't forget. Yeah, of course you didn't. Victoria, you know there is nothing more important to me than my children. All of them. Whether they're here with us or not. Just sometimes it feels like I'm the only one who cares about Adam. Of course I care. But Matty was in the hospital. He needed me. Yeah, and Adam might have needed you too. Because you don't have a clue where he is, what he's doing, who he's with. And I'd give anything to have him back here with us. No, because if you meant that, we would have done something about it by now. Oh, thank you. We might have been nice to each other yesterday, but that was for Matty's sake. So from now on, I'm here for him, not you. <laughs>